Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Tejendra, and we are now at our chapter 4 of Red Hat OpenShift Administration. In this section, in this chapter, we will discuss about OpenShift authentication and authorization. And as an administrator, it is a very, very important concept to understand. And uh, then we will go into the detail of the topics that what are OpenShift users, groups. We will see the users, service accounts, groups, roles, okay? And then the identity providers, right? What all methods in OpenShift are available uh, to configure our OpenShift OAuth server, okay? So for the enterprise, for the small enterprise, what method is suitable for it? We can use HT password, OpenStack, OpenStack key store, LDAP, right? GitHub and the open ID connector as well. And at last we will do the lab, okay? As we do in our old tutorials. Okay, we understand all these uh, uh, concepts via the practicals, okay? So let me go ahead and understand all these concepts. So what in this tutorial we will going to cover. So in organizations, maybe in cloud or somewhere else, right? We need the users and the user management is there. Same way in OpenShift, we have the user management as well. So these are the component of the user management, right? You need the user. User are the entity who basically interact with your cluster, okay? And then we have service account. Service account is kind of applications account, right? So one applications can interact with the another application. That's why we need the service account. Group, we can um, combine these users into the groups, right? The admin users group, uh, developer users group, team wise, role wise, we can assign the group. And same way, the roles. Roles are the permissions, right? We are giving to a user or to a group or to a service account, right? Uh, the permissions, maybe uh, some users might be the administrator, some users might be the tester, some users might be the developer only. And accordingly, we will provide the permissions. Uh, to these users. So that's why the roles, right? So this all things can, uh, we can manage in the OpenShift, okay? In the OpenShift cluster as an administrator. We will see in details well, while we will do the practical on that. And uh, then go ahead, what is OpenShift identity provider, right? So here's the concept of OpenShift OAuth server. So while we are discussing about this identity profile, means we have to configure the OAuth server. Okay, uh, inside the OpenShift so that OpenShift can allow users to uh, log in uh, into the OpenShift cluster. And there are the various ways, right? One is the HT password, that is the simplest way. And uh, for the small organization, you can use the HT password itself, okay? You need not to go LDAP and some others, right? Via this, you can do this. And some big organization, you can have the LDAP, right? Very big organization, which is having their user base and they want that their user base can interact with them cluster, they can configure the LDAV with the OpenShift OAuth server. Same way the GitHub Enterprise and the OpenID Connect, right? So OpenID Connect is the um, uh, kind of uh, like, you know, right? The Google, via Google, via AWS, this OpenID Connect concept you can apply there, right? So uh, this is, in that way, it is very broadened, okay? To uh, interact with the, um, uh, with the um, uh, OpenShift cluster by this use of OpenID and the LDAP, okay? Internally, you can use the HT password for the small enterprise, okay? So let me go ahead and do this practical to understand this, how we can create users and can assign roles, okay? Only then you can understand in details. So we are going to use the HT password method for our lab and it is very, very much important for the exam 280 as well, okay? to uh, create user and provide the roles, okay? So what we are going to do, we are going to run all these comments one by one, and I will explain the things uh, to you as well. Uh, for this, creating the users and uh, uh, assigning roles, you must be uh, logged in as a cube admin, okay? Or the administrator user. So uh, let me go ahead, it is my environment, you know, and let me see, uh, I am logged in with the uh, cube admin user already. Okay, so you can see I am the cube admin. So let me start one by one here. So first command is the HT password. Okay, so this HT password is come as the Apache uh, um, uh, Apache project, right? So you must have uh, this Apache project installed, HT password installed uh, in your, it is not part of the OpenShift. Okay, this is the, it is the Apache projects, HT password. So you must have that HT password already installed in your machine. If you do not have that installed, then you can install the HT password separately in your machine, right? It is not part of the OpenShift. 
in my machine i am already having the ht password okay so i am executing this command so what this ht password will do okay let me understand this uh, this is the ht password command okay it will create a user username would be admin okay and user password would be uh, red hat okay and then uh, once it will create uh, this user it will this will create this user inside this file okay ht password file it is the file name hyphen c means create a new file uh, hyphen b it will uh, while it will create okay it will encrypt also everything okay that is hyphen b and uh, hyphen small b means uh, uh, either add or the create right so we are either add or the update okay that is the hyphen b so we are adding admin user with the password red hat okay in the file ht password file okay so let me execute this command okay it is saying adding password for the user admin okay and if we see via ls command we can see that ht password file has been created in our directory okay you can provide the whole path also here while you will do that ht password file okay same way let me create another user uh, uh, with the uh, name and developer and uh, role uh, 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 and password developer okay so let me create same way we are giving this ht password command here this time we are not providing the hyphen c because our file is already created okay if we if we provide hyphen c here then it will override the file we don't want it okay we want both user admin and developer in the same file that's why we are not using hyphen c so we are using hyphen b only it means adding and the updating okay so we are adding the new user developer with the password developer so let me hit and it is saying actually for user developer has been created okay let me see uh, the content of the file as well okay so if i do the cat and ht uh, ht password file okay you can see right so this is the admin user and is the encrypted like we use the hyphen b here so this is the encrypted as well and in this uh, user is developer and it is the encrypted password of the developer okay let me go ahead okay and now what is the next thing okay next thing is so far we have using the ht password uh, command we have created a user uh, we have created two users with the password in a file now we have to add these users into the open shift as a secret only then open shift will start work and start assigning the users and roles something right first we have to add them into the open shift cluster for that we have to create a secret first okay <laughs> if you want to understand more on secrets you can see my previous videos on the open shifts to create secrets and the configuration config maps okay so in this command that we understand we are doing oc create secret we are creating a secret via the generic method and secret name would be the local users okay this is our name of secret and we are creating this secret from the file okay our file name is ht password file okay this is our file name and you must understand it and it is very crucial and important thing here while we are using and adding this uh, uh, this user thing then prefix must be ht password equal to okay from till here it is it should be there right ht ht pass wd equal okay this is this should be the prefix then uh, where we are adding it hyphen n is the means namespace of open shift config okay so in open shift config project space namespace we are adding this secret okay that's why we need to log in as the cube admin because only cube admin having this access of open shift uh, hyphen config namespace okay let me do that and it is saying that uh, a secret local user created okay so our secret has been created now let me go ahead and now what we are now what we will do here uh, let me first copy this command and let me paste it here oc admin policy okay so now we are creating a policy and in this policy we are providing admin uh, cluster admin role to the admin user right we have now uh, admin user there so we are we are uh, providing that role right so what is the policy name is policy is add cluster role to user okay and what role we are providing cluster admin role 
to which user admin. Okay, let me execute this. Yeah. As of now, it is saying bar, it is giving the warning message. User admin not found. Why? Because as of now, till now, we have created the secrets only, right? We have not actually uh, added that user into the uh, cluster yet, right? We will do it uh, shortly. Uh, but in the policy, we can add, right? This, this policy is the separate thing, right? In this policy, we have uh, we have modified this policy and added cluster admin role to the admin user, okay? Now, let me go ahead and add uh, admin user, okay? To do that, okay, it is a uh, little bit tricky here. So what, uh, what we are going to do here, we are getting uh, we are getting the oauth right I, in starting i told you okay i told you that uh, um, um uh, right i told you that we need to we will uh, um, uh, configure this open safe oauth server right uh, for the methods login methods right so here uh, adding uh, how we are adding users into the cluster via the HT password, right? So this way we have to configure this OAuth server, okay? So that is why we are doing here in this command OC get OAuth, okay? Cluster and hyphen O YAML, right? So in the YAML format, it will get the configuration to us and we are going to save it uh, here uh, in our current directory uh, with the file name OAuth1.yaml, okay? So let me click here and if we do the LS, we can see that OAuth 1 YAML file has been created here, okay? Now we have to update this file and have to add our secrets and the users there in the file. Once we will then save it and apply that to YAML file again, then this users, these users will be added into the OpenShift cluster, into the OpenShift config namespace, okay? We will, I will show you everything, okay, in detail. So let me uh, see uh, the structure of the file. Cat o um, auth one dot yaml. Okay, so here you can see kind, right? Kind is very important thing here while we are working on the templates, right? So kind is oauth, okay? Uh, and then this section is empty as of now, right? A spec section is empty. So what we have to do, we have to add these lines in the specs, right? Our specs is empty, which we get received the OAuth, right? We have to add these things. What are these? These are the specification of the OAuth, right? Kind OAuth. And here we are adding the HT password. Identity provider is HT password, right? I told you there might be number of HT uh, I have provided one HT password, LDAP, GitHub, OpenID Connect, right? Same way. So for our, we are, our identity provider HT password. Okay. We have created the secrets and secret name is the local user that we have added here. And for this adding these things, we are giving it name as the um, uh, my users. Okay. And type is HT password. So these lines we have to add here. I have already added them uh, to save our time. And I have added them in the OAuth uh, um, .yaml file already. Okay, let me show you why, why uh, the content of this um, OAuth YAML file. Okay, so uh, kind is OAuth, and at the end space specs I have added all these lines. Okay, and uh, I have saved it to uh, save our times. Okay, now we have to apply this into our um, cluster. Okay. So to apply it, what we will do, we will replace, okay, OC replace hyphen F means file name OAuth YAML, right? So it is the, uh, uh, while we will learn this, it will automatically get the kind is OAuth. So in the OAuth section, OAuth server section, it will replace the previous OAuth with this current configuration. Let me do it, okay? And it is saying that OAuth has been replaced. And you remember uh, in chapter two, I told you, about the operator, these operate open shift operators are very, very much important thing. Okay, and uh, operators we see right. So there was one operator is the op uh, authentication operator was there. Okay, so once we are doing it, it means authentication operators must have been be modified. Okay, to see that whether our authentication operator has been uh, has been modified after uh, 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 replacing the OAuth. Okay, let me see here. 
and we can see okay so by now our both users admin and developer has been created so let me go ahead and see whether we are able to access these both user or not for it we have to give command um, oc login hyphen u admin hyphen p is red hat Okay, so he, it is saying uh, user is uh, uh, login is success. Okay, to check whether this admin user we provided uh, the policies here, right? We update the policy and provided admin user the cluster admin roles. So let me see whether this admin user able to see um, um, the nodes. Okay, so also only admin user can see the nodes. Okay, so let me uh, give command uh, OC get nodes okay here this it is returning like right? master one master two right so here it it is success let me see whether this user uh, admin user able to see the user detail or not right so yes this this user is able to see the user right as of now we have created two user you know right admin user and the developer user but this user uh, in this command it is returning only one why because admin uh, a developer user not yet logged in okay that is the very very much important to you and for the students who are going to give that 280 exam okay it is my exam tip here uh, you also need to log in with the developer user also, okay? So let me log in with developer user. If you will not log in, you will only create the developer user and will not log in with it, okay? Then uh, there will be no marking for you, okay? So OC, login hyphen you developer hyphen P is also and uh, developer let me log in okay login successful and let me try that if developer user able to see uh notes or not okay so yes because developer user is not having admin rights so that's why the uh, forbidden uh, error is coming okay let me log in back again with the admin user and then uh, see the uh, 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 get users command okay so uh, we have uh, uh, logged in back uh, with the admin user and now uh, let's try to get users command this time we should get the developer user also okay now here you can see we are having admin user as well as developer users both right and then uh, let me execute one more command which is uh, oc get identities we paste the correct oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> by mistake i is the end okay so here you know right we I, while we were creating the identity in our yaml file so we give the my users right as the name of identity so here you can give all the details right so that's all for this uh, uh, tutorials thanks everyone for watching bye bye